What is up everybody, Scape211 here, and I'm just playing back a little footage from a match I had earlier today. Doing a lot of CPC today because we had this playoff event that just started. Uh, if you, you probably already noticed in your event tab, this uh, event that's going on, and it's cool to see. This is the first time they've done an event like this. Uh, we've done derbies before, we've had our regular events. This is the first time they've done this playoff event, so I applaud them for that. It's really cool to see something different. There's some good things and bad things maybe about this, so let's talk about it. First of all, uh, this initial Initial part of the event the first part is really good really easy for everyone to complete lots of nice goodies up on the top uh, namely those 250 pilot marks you really want to make sure you nab um, and then after that it's gonna go into the more so tournament bracket mode and that's the part that everyone uh, you know obviously there's bigger goodies there for those top three slots now a lot of people are asking you know is this all global for this leaderboard because there's a leaderboard attached to this um, it is not all right this is a lot more like tournament where uh, once you start playing it will put you into a bracket now instead of putting you in a bracket of 20 it puts you in a bracket of 100 I am not entirely sure when this bracket starts though I don't know if it starts as soon as you start doing stuff for this event or once you hit that first milestone to go into the second half of it I'm not entirely sure but um, you will definitely get into one of those brackets at some point for sure and that is where you're gonna see where your point total is to know where you want to fall on uh, on that list obviously you want to get those top three slots because that has the good stuff all the rest of the stuff is pretty crappy i would have hoped that they would have given you a little bit better stuff for those that can grind but can't grind insanely like some other people but um you know it is what it is and uh that's just you know how they're gonna do this event i guess um and the difficulty for me is just how you end up getting these points uh, because, you know, you can keep accruing them based on certain things you do. Basically, the biggest point titles will come from two main things that I see that I think are realistic depending on whether you spend resources, you know, or money, or you just want to do other stuff. So, um, uh, first of all, there is the idea of getting blueprints. And uh, if you look at this section, you'll see that you're, you know, if you're stacking crates like I usually do, and I recommend a lot of people do, um, you can actually get quite a few points just from this section, which is great. It'll give you a good chunk, probably a good lead. And then we have the stuff that's probably more like paid stuff as well as just like high-end skill stuff, right? So event crates that are going on, um, opening those, and then capturing three beacons without incurring any damage, which is really hard to do. Super high skill level um, and to do consistently. But the event crate one is the one that obviously is, you know, going to be based around whatever the event crate is. And if you want to spend on that, I don't know if I recommend that. Depends if you use the weapon. So it can be a heavy resource investment, especially if you're not going to be able to get that stuff so i don't love that about it it is kind of annoying that again it's one of these events where super easy super free to play friendly to do the base stuff i mean i honestly did it you know within the first couple of hours super easy but after that it gets exceedingly hard to get any resources of value and we all want those pilot marks we all want those scrap and probably the people who will get it the most are those who spend who probably don't even need that stuff that much maybe the scrap but they probably don't need pilot marks most of them max out their pilots super fast those are easier to get but if you're free to play they're much harder to get and uh you know that's kind of a bummer that they've put that a little bit out of harm or hands reach for a lot of people um, which, you know, I, I just, I don't love the way that's done, or I would have at least liked some of those pilot marks to trickle down through the other people. Um, and again, this is like your, your leaderboard is like a hundred people. Uh, and you can tell because they have the top 10% there, um, are 10 people, then 20%, the, tw you know, people up to 20 and then 40, 40. So it's based on the percentages, which based on it being the top 40, when you say that would mean that it's a hundred people. So you're competing against a hundred people over four ish days and uh, a lot of it is based on you know how much you're going to spend on these crate rate crate rush event type stuff and then how many crates have you stacked for blueprints you certainly can get plenty for playing with other people and doing other stuff like that which you know isn't terrible so there's also various ways that you can get some of these and then just grinding and playing a lot of it is going to be cpc in my mind because it's going to allow you to play play with friends easily win matches and then also be able to um stack up like your uh tokens your your battle points to get more crates so it makes the most sense to do it that way um and you know that's that's overall what i think is uh the benefit of that but if we go into uh looking at this event real quick again you'll see where i'm falling right now i'm in the third place slot uh, just because i have have opened a lot of crates but the rest of the stuff yeah is it's pretty low level it's just 
uh, credits and fortune keys, which fortune cre keys hold a lot less value these days. So this is not really anything great. It's it's just those top three slots you want to make. And even for me, I'm not going to go crazy on these next few days. It's very possible these people are going to pass me. Um, but if we, yeah, I didn't want to hit that one. If we look at the objectives, yeah, you'll see this top part is really where you want to put your focus and easy to do within like a day. Um, so if you're someone who doesn't spend, you want to do that for sure. And then I wouldn't, you know, go crazy on the other stuff unless no one is really pushing in your bracket. Otherwise, you might end up wasting a lot of resources to only get some credits and fortune keys it's pretty dicey in my opinion uh, for that element of it but I, I applaud them for trying this new event you guys can let me know what you think about this new event if you think it's good or bad and we'll see you out there on the battlefield